good y'all it's Akira here back with another vid D O guys you have been showing love to my summer cricket crash video so I thought why not give you guys another one okay another one so that's what we're here doing um, I want to give you guys some more ideas for summer cricket crash that you can make to make you some cash and let's just get into it also I did want to say I did want to say this uh, if you guys want me to make a comprehensive video making all the crafts that I talked about and give you quick tutorials on each one let me know down below because that's something I can definitely make happen um so without further ado let's just get into it so you guys always know I have my handy dandy phone here with my notes um and just gonna go into some more ideas for some summer cricket crafts that you can make um so the first thing and you know me I'm gonna put it here on the screen so you guys can visualize what I'm talking about um, but the first thing I'm gonna talk about is personalized sand buckets. Um, I thought that was a super cute idea that you can make uh, for summer for Cricut Crafts and super easy to make. Um, it would literally just be you taking some permanent vinyl, finding some inexpensive um, plastic sand buckets and personalize them for, you know, more than likely it's gonna be for like children. Um, but that would be such a great idea. Um, and I kind of want to mix these this first idea and the second idea together because they can kind of go hand in hand um, Drink stations drink stations is another idea that I thought would be amazing cricket craft that you can make for this summer So we all have cookouts. We all have barbecues We all do those fun things during the summertime and why not be able to make drink stations so that people can put their you know juices for their kids beers whatever type of drink you like to drink this summer you can make a personalized bucket for someone and think how cute that would be if you go to your friend's house and she just has a personalized bucket that said drinks are here or sandy's house or you know whatever they, you wanted to say they wanted to say it would be such a cute idea and why i said number one which is the sand the customized sand buckets and number two can kind of go together because if you don't want to use the sand buckets for actually like beach activities you could also sell them and you know make props put some ice in it put some drinks in it and you could sell them as drink you know coolers or you know drink stations um as well and like you guys know i put everything here on the screen so you can get an idea of what i'm talking about um so those are two things that you can kind of use the sand buckets to make either you know make the items go more towards the children's market or an adult market or just like a family market for you know stuff to have for family cookouts and all that good stuff so those are two ideas for you um the next one i want to talk about is beach bags so beach bags are a really great idea um for customization um they're, and they're really inexpensive to buy i know that now everything that i talk about i will link down links below for things that i found um but beach bags are really inexpensive to buy um and you can customize them with heat transfer vinyl um it'd be super easy and literally all you have to do is you know cut whatever you need um out with your cricket put it on you know with a heat press or however you want to heat up your vinyl and voila it's made and why i think beach bags are a great idea because one you can take a regular tote bag and re uh revamp it or what's the word i'm looking for not revamp you can um like madonna does it all the time um reinvent <laughs> I, I was like i had to think about it something okay so reinvent so you can take a tote bag and reinvent it as a beach bag um as long as it's the right size you can take those totes that you've been you know had in your storage or you know we us crafters we pile up all types of stuff you can take those tote bags that you have if you have them if you don't you can buy some um and repurpose them as beach bags now there are some bags that look more beachy because they have like the rope handles that you put over your shoulder uh, i think i have some tote bags in here I do um, I had this tote bag it was from Michaels it was like two bucks like seriously it was really inexpensive um, and it come in a two pack so these are like two dollars so you can literally put some vinyl on that girl and now it's a beach bag <laughs> and those are really good for families um they're really good for people who are going on vacation so it's not just like one 
demographic that would buy these so families would buy them people are going on vacation new mothers if they're taking their babies to the beach they don't really want to bring their diaper bag they can resort to a beach bag um and then you know because you don't want to bring a regular diaper bag it gets all sandy and all that kind of crap so definitely think that beach bags are a great summer cricket craft to make and they're super inexpensive to find i mean there's so many places to find them um and they're super easy to make as well and um you know something i always talk about is customization you can you know you can make bags with like pictures on them or whatever and just sell them like that but you can charge 5 10 15 20 25 extra dollars depending on your market to customize those bags with a name with a color you know whatever you want to do so it's definitely a great idea for a summer cricket craft that you can make and it's going to make you money because even for myself like obviously i have a cricket and i just make my own craft for myself but i would totally buy a beach bag to bring with me on vacation that i would make mine say something a little naughty but <laughs> i think it's definitely something that would make a great uh cricket craft um so the next thing i want to talk about is not like a, it's not really like uh you know mind-blowing idea but it's uh banners so we all love summer parties you know kids parties um events it, and banners are super easy to make with your cricket and i'll show you a few ideas here on the screen because I know you're thinking banners, you may not be thinking what I'm thinking about, but again, to make those banners, they're so cute, they're easy to make, and they're low cost items that people would buy um, just for certain events. Like if they're having, and, and, and this is something that I make personally for my events when I have them. Um, so 4th of July, Memorial Day, uh, what other summer holidays are there just getting together Bob's birthday <laughs> you know like there's so many reasons why people get together during the summer and making paper banners are so cute and because like for instance for myself like I usually go to the Dollar Tree and get like tablecloths and plates and all that matching stuff but they don't really have anything to make it like your own and i would definitely go on etsy or go to someone's site grab a personalized banner or you know a themed banner like fourth of july or something like that and toss it up and just make my party a little more special um an idea that i had with the banners is like for the food table you know how the food table is like where everyone wants to be because everyone's hungry. Um, it would be so cute to put like foods ready or you know whatever type of words you wanted to put. It would be so cute to have that for the food table just to give it a little extra splash. Like I don't know about everybody's type of cookout, but black people cookout, black people's cookout. We have a food table, and you know, yeah. So you know, okay. Uh, <laughs> so the next idea that i had um and it's something that i personally use because i need them because these items of mine get broken all the time and that is a sunglass holder so um and i will link the ones that i found below they're so inexpensive and they're super easy to customize like i said this is just takes heat transfer vinyl um and you can customize sunglass cases um for a summer cricket craft why i think this is so good is because one um you don't have just one pair of sunglasses usually people have multiple pairs and they have multiple pairs they want to protect so they're not just going to buy one maybe they'll buy one or two or three but i think that if someone wants a sunglass protector they're not just going to buy one and also that demographic is so open because men wear sunglasses women wear sunglasses children you know age range doesn't really matter because mostly not mostly everyone but there's a large amount of people in this world that wear sunglasses um so i definitely think that's a great cricket craft to make and what's great is like even if you're thinking like oh well men don't really care per carry purses but they want to protect their sunglasses while they're in the car so when they put them on they're not burning their face because they've been in the hot car for eight hours or you know whatever the case is um so sunglass holders i think are definitely a great 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 summer cricket craft to make and that it can make you some money and I think people will buy multiples as well especially to like as I think about when I talk about these things I think about like who I could see buying these things to kind of help me help you guys and like just think about a mom who has like three kids and you she can get each one of her kids you're going to the beach hold on guys I had to take a detour on this one okay mom with three kids we're gonna call her um I don't know i can't think of a name give me a name anyways um so we're gonna call her annie annie is taking her three kids to the beach right so annie is like okay and we're planning this big beach day it's 
kid's first time at the beach and want to do something special, right? So Anna is gonna come buy a beach bag from you. She's gonna buy um, a sunglass holder because she needs that for her kids. And she may even buy the customized sand buckets. So just think about you know all those things you can make and now Andy's kids are customized down and ready for the beach. <laughs> So definitely that I definitely think that sunglass holders are a really cute way to make some extra money during the summertime with summer cricket crafts. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is not like really like a super unique idea, but I think it would be a good money maker is outdoor pillows. So a lot of people make pillows with their crickets, right? But I seldom see outdoor pillows being made for cricket, and cricket has um vinyl that's specific for outdoors and weather resistant and a few other companies sell that type of heat transfer vinyl as well a quick google search can find you a whole list of companies that sell it but i'll link my favorites down below uh, but you can make outdoor pillows and which is great is like we're right at the time right now where people like if you go into the stores all the outdoor stuff is like gone it's sold out it is gone and so you will be right now if you stole them right now catching those people who are making getting their outdoor areas together for summer um, we're technically still in quarantine even though things are still opening up and a lot of people who are still going to be cautious during this time are going to be spending a lot of time in their backyards and their outdoor spaces and having them look pretty is on a lot of people's top priority list of things that they do with their backyard so i definitely think that outdoor pillows are a great option for um for the summer and like pillowcases are super low cost to purchase um i will link my favorite ones down below so you guys can check those out but outdoor pillows i definitely think are a great 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 idea for summer cricket crafts so my last idea unfortunately this is the last one guys <laughs> but my last idea for the summer cricket crafts are coasters so i think coasters are a perfect way to customize or make an event more fun so even not even for just the home but for um outside as well i think that coasters are a really great idea to make now there's a few types of coasters you can actually make you can make more you're using your home so you can buy like the stone ones that they have or like hard plastic and you can put your vinyl on those but you can also put vinyl on more disposable coasters like wooden ones or paper ones those can take vinyl as well um so those would be great because you can make a big pack of them and charge like a good amount like even if you do like a 20 pack of customized coasters imagine how much you can sell those for and I always say, you know, you have to kind of be within your market. And I can't tell you what your market is because somebody on Etsy can sell a coaster for $5. Somebody can sell them for $40 and they both can sell the equal amount. So it really just depends on your market and kind of like what, what your market can take price wise. Because you can sell a $50 sandwich in New York. You probably can't sell a $50 sandwich in a little town in Iowa. So just kind of, you know, that's why I say those things so you can kind of... I, I put I throw prices out there based on like what I think and where I'm at, but I can't say like if if your town or your city or you know wherever you live can take a higher price or a lower price for an item. Um, but I think coasters, like I said, are definitely a great idea. Um, as you can see here on the screen, there's so many options for coasters and how you can make them customized and just make them a fun, easy way for people to customize like their pet their patios or their backyards or their parties um and just just make them extra special and you know some people steal coasters i don't it's a thing guys don't don't think i'm crazy people be stealing coasters okay so um if they're gonna steal at least they'll have you on their mind or whatever so definitely custom coasters are a great way to um you know make some money during summer with your cricket and it's not that hard to do either so if you guys want to see a tutorial of i'll pick out like maybe like the the top things that are requested like down in the comment section um from this video and check out my last video as well i'll link it down below let me know if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how to make the those few top requested crafts i will show you guys um in a quick easy video maybe like 30 seconds per craft just to give you a quick rundown of how to do it so you can do it too and you're not watching my videos for 20 hours because i want you to be out here enjoying your summer but watch my videos after before
yeah before <laughs> so thank you guys so much i hope you enjoyed this video let, let me know down below if you like a tutorial video and i will see you in the next one